Desexualizing your brain is going to be one of the hardest things you'll ever have to do. Nowadays in our society, it has become nearly impossible to not see sexualized content on the internet. You see this sexualized content getting promoted everywhere, whether it be commercials, whether it be some social media platforms. No matter where you go, sexualized content is everywhere. And it's everywhere because it's so hooking to the human psyche. It's not your fault you want to look at a girl. It's not your fault you want to look at a guy. It's not your fault. It's human nature. You are attracted to beautiful things. You're attracted to sexual things. That's normal. As a human being, in your brain, your psyche wants to see these things. But again, things like pornography is gonna affect your mindset, your brain. Studies have shown it's like heroin to the brain. It's an addiction. You're gonna see these things. It's free. It's content that's everywhere. It's so easily accessible. And you don't gotta do anything to get to it. Back then, People had to go to the shops to get things, to get a DVD, to get a magazine. It was harder. There was a little more shame that had to go on. You had to have the audacity to go to those shops. Make sure nobody saw you. Your neighbor didn't see you. This person who knows you might have not seen you. There was a sense of shame about it because they understood that what they're doing is a little wrong. You want to see this nudie magazine. You want this. You hid them. You didn't put them out in the open. That's not what it was like. So again, people understand that it's wrong innately. You understand that you shouldn't be doing this innately. So again, why is it being so promoted in our society all the time? Nowadays, we're talking about sexuality in our school system very young. And granted, I remember seeing a safe sex protocol thing in seventh, eighth grade. They showed the banana. We've all seen that. But nowadays, they're doing it even younger. When you're in fourth grade, there are more important things to learn about than your sexuality. I promise you that. Nowadays, in third, fourth, fifth graders aren't even reading well. People don't even read at the level they're supposed to be reading. I remember speaking with teachers and saying that kids aren't writing the way they used to. Why? Because of the phones, technology. Our attention deficit isn't the problem. It's our focus. It's what we're actually focusing on. We're able to focus on things for long periods of times. People play video games for long periods of times, but it's where our attention is going. And the attention economy is destroying our brain because they are sexualizing every single thing and every single piece of content that's out there. Why? Why do things have to be sexualized? Why do we need to know the sexualization of this person or that person? That shouldn't be the first thing. If you really want to know things about people, it should be their character, their morals, their values. But again, these things like OnlyFans are being promoted all the time on the internet. Pornography is promoted all the time on the internet. Even when you download an app for the first time, if you download a TikTok app, if you download Instagram, if you download all these different apps, the first things that are recommended to you are girls dancing, are beautiful women. Why? Because women love looking at beautiful women and comparing themselves to it. And guys love looking at women too. So it makes me think, wait, so they know what they're doing. They want you hooked on these apps. They try to bait you in. When you build your For You page, when you build your algorithm, you might not be looking at that content, so it goes away. But again, you look at it once, you like it once, you like it twice, you look at it a little longer than 10 seconds, boom, now it's part of your algorithm. Now you're gonna see that type of content. And again, why? Because it hooks you on the platform, because it's in your human psyche to want to look at beautiful things. You want to be turned on. That's normal. It's a human feeling and emotion to do that. But again, you used to have to go to those places to get the nudie magazines. You have to go to those places to, you know, see something like that. But now it's from your phone. It's so easily accessible. You can do it all the time. But then that hooks you. It baits you. It sexualizes your brain so that everything you look at is sexualized. I was recently on TikTok and I started noticing recently that every single ad that pops up, again, things that I don't look for, not on my For You page, have been all women on the ad talking about it. All of them are showing their backside. And I'm sitting there instantly swiping up and I'm thinking, why do they keep doing this? They're getting women to be advertising things. They're using a woman in tight leggings to advertise toothpaste. Why? What's the reason? I personally know why, because I'm looking at it as someone from the third person view where I'm like, oh, because they want people to watch this thing and get hooked to it. And then think about, oh, Crest, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm thinking like, how is a grocery store advertisement gonna give me a woman turning around for half the video? That makes absolutely no sense. And again, I get it. Me as a guy, personally, seeing this, growing up with this environment, it's hard. This is not easy. You're gonna get bombarded with it all the time. People talk about sexuality and sex all the time. It's in all of our shows, all of our media. And not only that, you want to be taking part in this. But as someone who wants to be absent, you want to wait until marriage, you want to do this, you want to do that. You don't want to be looking at pornography. You don't want to masturbate. There's so many things you don't want to do, but everything around you is wanting you to do it, wanting you to do it. Why? Because it's control. If you can control the mind to be a slave to their desires, then that person can't become more enlightened in life. You cannot excel in life further and further 
if all you're doing is chasing tail, if all you're doing is looking at naked women and men, you just won't get further in life. And anyone will tell you this, when you have consistent sexual activities with your wife, your spouse, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, what happens to your ambitions? It lowers. It never goes higher because again, it's a high energy activity. It creates a child. Like really think about it physically, biologically. It's a lot of energy. So you can have it for pleasure. That's of course the point. You wanna marry someone, be with them, have pleasure with them. Yes, that's normal. We're humans, it's normal. But again, you have to think about it logically. If you're sitting there watching two other people do it, what is that doing to your brain? What are you gonna eventually get turned on to? Are you really gonna be turned on to your spouse if you get desensitized to sexual behaviors for the last 10 years of your life? You need to stop looking at these things. And again, you're gonna sit there and stare at women your whole day? Come on, like have some sense of decency and self-respect for yourself. Even when you look at OnlyFans and all these different things, people are just promoting themselves and making money off of their body, their sexuality. And then they say, don't objectify me, but you're objectifying yourself. So again, the whole system, the whole society is just rigged. And even when you look at it now, kids younger and younger are getting more and more sexually active at a younger age. Because again, all they see around them is this. Everything in the music, everything in the media is constantly promoting this to them. It's promoting this degeneracy behavior. And this is not good for your soul. It's not good for your spirit. It's not good for your morals, your finances. None of it actually helps. So again, you have to do step by step and understand the problem as a whole. It's an attack on our consciousness. It's an attack on our psyche. It's for control. Do not let them control you with sex. Do not let them control you from your desires. And again, something that I learned through Islam and through being a Muslim is that lower your gaze. And when I was younger, I never understood what it meant really to lower your gaze, right? But the older older I got, the more I started realizing to lower your gaze is to, again, you're averting your gaze from what you know you're gonna be attracted to. It makes sense. You know you're gonna be attracted to a beautiful woman. Or you see a guy walking by and you're attracted to him. You're gonna have those attractions, it's normal. But to lower your gaze, you're not gonna sit there and stare and gawk at them. You don't wanna be turned on. You don't wanna think naughty thoughts. That's not the point. You're supposed to only have those thoughts for your partner. Because again, why do people do all the time now? They cheat. Why do they cheat? Because they won't lower their gaze. They cheat because again, they're so focused on the sexual desire of theirs. You have to control this. Even when it comes down to the modern clothing, nowadays, everyone wears these tight clothes, spandex, leggings. Oh, they go to the gym wearing leggings, but then they roll up their big oversized sweatshirt over top their butt. Come on, like it's just everywhere you go, no matter what you're trying to do, even if you're in the gym trying to better yourself, that's what you're seeing. That's how people are presenting themselves. And again, it's, oh, because it makes me look good. I feel good about myself. But you also know that people are gonna look at you. You know people are gonna be staring because again, it's so hard for most people not to. And that's the thing that gets me so frustrated. It happens, it's a thing. But to desexualize your brain, there are ways that you're able to do it. Because you know now all the different taxes and ways they're trying to control you. Now, what is really the steps needed to get you to not. First and foremost, you've got to clean up your phone. The phone is the number one way where you're gonna basically be doing this thing where it's sexualizing you. Delete anyone that posts those types of content. Listen, social media is fake, it's not real life. Don't allow it to dictate your real life. Don't allow it to dictate the way your brain health is. Don't allow it to dictate your mental health. So again, remove all people that post these types of content. Remove all people, men, women, doesn't matter. Don't have it posted all over your feed. Don't see it. Because again, it's going to ruin your brain day by day, one by one. Something that definitely helped me was just removing the apps entirely. If I noticed that the apps were causing me that harm or showing me the types of things that content, I just deleted them because I was thinking, you know what? It's not even worth my time to get a little bit of enjoyment of going on the social media platform or going here, going there, if that's what I'm going to see. Because again, the more I eliminated where it was coming from, the more I realized I didn't have those urges, those thoughts anymore. I wasn't thinking the negative way. Because nowadays, all people see is that. So then when people get into relationships, that's all they're thinking about. They're not thinking about who this person really is. They're not trying to hear their deepest, darkest secrets, desires, emotions, and listening. No, no one does all that stuff. All anyone cares about is that desire, desire, desire. That's it. But again, desensitize yourself. Allow yourself to be without it and watch how much stronger you are. Again, a big step to this is acting in mindfulness and meditating, understanding taking a deep breath, a step out of the sexualized content, touch some grass, do something active, be physical, do those things. And if you really are gonna engage in these sexual behaviors, have it be a real human being. Imagine a recording of yourself doing that deed and someone's watching you do that deed to the whatever you're doing it to. Imagine how embarrassed you'd feel. Have a sense of shame, decency, and self-respect for yourself and don't do that. And usually all this content is, again, majority talking to guys, where guys store your seed, your seed is so strong, your energy, but hey, Women as well, like we all should be working on this, trying not to show that off too much. But again, all people do when they 
get these big muscles or look real good or have this, and they try to show it off. So they say it makes them feel good about themselves. Are you gonna have no self-worth to then have to show off your body? That's the lowest form of flattery. You're showing off something that everyone's attracted no matter what it is. So again, have some self-respect, have some decency for yourself, and don't post those sexualized content. And then in turn, don't look at that sexualized content. You have to understand that this, there's a limit. There's a thing that's gonna cause your brain to get desensitized to it. And that is a huge problem. But no one wants to come out and say it straight up. It's a problem. You're all gonna sit there and think, oh, you know, it's not that big of a deal, man. You're being this. No, it is a big deal because when you, people look at statistics with pornography and heroin addiction, it is literally the same parts of the brain. It looks the same in the brain. So imagine what that's really doing to your brain, your psyche, your development. So again, I'm just talking about facts. I'm just talking about what's really going on in the world. And if you see it, you see it. If you don't, you don't. But again, the reason why you click on this video is because you yourself want to desexualize your brain. You don't want this to happen. People are creeps out there. I remember talking to someone about this and it was like, why do we put eight-year-old girls in bikinis? And I remember thinking like, why do we even do that? That's crazy to me. Because again, you would think like, oh, people shouldn't be looking at her. She's an eight-year-old. Yeah, well, no, duh, but people are creep. Like, and that's what never, I never understood. You can't live in this world in this society based on the best person. No, 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 no. There are people that are low lives. There are people that are going to be looking at an eight-year-old girl, which is insane. I cannot stand when people try to defend that. I'm like, yo, really think about what's going on. Play the game from the outside. Really see the overall thing that's happening. Protect our children, protect our kids, protect yourself. Understand that desexualizing your brain is one of the most important things you can do for your own mental health. Last but not least, set those boundaries. Make sure you understand what's going on. When you set those boundaries, you're engaging in normal physical activities. You're actually interacting with human beings. You're not staring there behind a phone. And if it really is that bad, try to seek professional help. And it sucks. It's hard. It almost feels impossible sometimes, but it's everywhere. One by one, desexualize your brain. It is one of the best and most important things that you can do for your life. If you yourself have dealt with this and gotten through it, leave comments down below how you did it. And if you're going through it, talk about some things that make it really, really hard and difficult right now. I love to hear what you say and I love to read the comments and let you know what I think as well. So again, thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you next week for another video. See you later.